Recently, we explored about general things about Hu An, and in this video, we just focus on Hu An's old quarry. Now, let's get started. Hu An was initiated in the 16th century under the rules of Kingsley. When that Viet an old name of Vietnam was divided into two parts, and then Hu An openly did business with other countries because of favorable conditions of weather geography. Hội An was then the biggest business center of Southeast Asia in the 17th century. It was in charge of doing business with Japan, China, and also Western countries. At the same time, China started to enforce ban on exporting its products into Japan, which meant Japan had to depend on Hội An. Within 30 years in 1617, Japanese trade was established in Hội mm -hmm. An and it strongly developed in the early 17th century. However, the street was later overshadowed by the policy of suppressing Catholic Japanese in Hoi An. From then on, Chinese replaced Japanese to be responsible for trading and building their own houses. That's why we see some architectures of Japanese and Chinese today in Hoi An, such as pagodas, old houses, or meeting halls. However, in the late 19th century, limited traffic condition of waterway resulted from that Godak river mouth was smaller and smaller together with the policy of Da Nang development made by French. Hội An gradually lost its functions as a vital international harbor. But Hội An remains many architectures, temples, pagodas, streets, old houses, or meeting halls. Although many of them were reconstructed in the 19th century, they still maintain the architectural styles of the old ones. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, located right inside Mian Ward, Hoi An Old Square has its area of two kilometers and includes short but nice streets. Back Down Street is near the bank of the river, and then it comes to Nguyen Thai Hop Street. Chen Phu and Nguyen Thi Minh Kai streets are connected to each other by Japanese car road bridge pagoda, which is the symbol of Hội An, and it was constructed by Japanese people in the 17th century. On Chen Phu Street, from the bridge you can see Chinese old houses or meeting halls. Until you get to the end of Chen Phu Street, you only find the temple of Wan Gong, the god that Chinese people usually worshipped. Besides those, Hội An also has a number of museums, such as Museum of Hội An's History and Culture, Museum of Street Ceramics, Hội An, and so on. The old house, which is considered the biggest one in the old quarry, is Museum of Fort Culture, which is 57 meters long and 9 meters high. Old houses in the old quarry are made of traditional materials, such as bricks, tiles, or wood. Parents are carved by shapes of strange animals or old stories which are made by great artisans of Vietnam, China, or Japan. That also closes our video today. Hope that with this video, you will have a more detailed look of Hoi An Old Square. Goodbye! Welcome to Vietnam.